Hey boys and girls, how you doing? Um, this is a photographic tool that uh, idiots in camera stores uh, try to sell you, but you should never use them, and you should never buy them. I don't have one for the very reason that I'm about to tell you. <laughs> you shouldn't use them, shouldn't use, shouldn't use them, and should not buy them. Canned air, okay? You know what I'm talking about? Like you buy the canned air with the little nozzle on it, and you use that to go. You know, you, you fire the uh, canned air at uh, your camera, and it's like, oh, that blows the dust away. No, you should never use those things. You should always use one of these, okay? Ah! <laughs> you should use one of these puffer blowers. Why? Why should you never use canned air? <clears throat> By the way, those canned airs, they're horrible. They wreck havoc on rangefinder cameras which always have a gap between the magnesium chassis. People that own a Fuji X100T or a Leica, they know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. I'll hear from people like, I got dust underneath my viewfinder. I was like, did you use canned air to clean it? Like, yeah, I always, yeah, that was your problem. Don't use that crap anymore. What happens is that there's always a very, very light seal between the magnesium chassis and the viewfinder. And this is not just rangefinder cameras, but it's especially true for rangefinder cameras. When you go to clean your sensor, if you're using canned air, you are doing some serious stupid. It's actually some serious stupid if you're doing uh, sensor cleaning. Why is that? Okay. See, unlike the other people out there that flap their lips about cameras, I actually take them apart and fix them, and I know how they work. Mm, you see, your shutter blades are made out of Teflon-coated Kevlar, okay? And by using one of these instead of canned air, you're actually blowing the dust when you turn your camera upside down out of the camera. By using the canned air, <clears throat> which <clears throat> has some incredible velocity to it, you're blowing crap into your camera. Ah, you know, instead of like blowing it off of my face, you're blowing it into your face with the canned air. Bad. It'll actually cause premature failure of your shutter mechanism. This is an absolute, not my opinion, this is a fact. You see, when they're shutter blades, they actually rotate, to, actually not rotate, they actually reciprocate against each other. When you blow crud in there like that, bad news. It can also cause them to warp. I don't know if you've ever held a shutter blade, but they burn as good as a match, and they bend easier than paper. And what happens is when you blow that high velocity canned air in there with the uh, with the trigger on it, it does, it actually causes the shutter blades, even though they're open and they're above uh, the uh, sensor, it causes them to ripple and wave. And that's no bueno. What it also does on any and every other camera, instead of actually blowing the dust away, which it does do, it blows dust into the cracks and crevices where you don't want it to go. It does blow it away, but it also blows it deeper! Deeper! You know? You want the stuff to come out. You want the stuff to vanish, but you don't want it to vanish by going deeper into your camera. This is why you don't use those things. And another thing you should use is go down to your Hobby Lobby or your paint shop and get like a little one bigger than this. Get a paintbrush, okay? If your blower can't get to it, get a little bit, not for your sensor, okay? Not for your sensor. I'm talking about all those little cracks and crevices. Get a painter's paintbrush. One bigger than this. I use bigger ones than this. This is just an example, okay? So, don't use canned air. Never buy canned. If you want to buy canned air and use it on your computer, fine. But don't use canned air on your camera. It is no bueno. No, it's muy malo. No. You catch me, essay? Don't use it. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>